start ladies and gentlemen i deem it an honor and privilege to be with you all here this evening at the outset i would like to offer my congratulations and good wishes to all the boys and girls who have completed their courses of study in this university and have become eligible to receive degrees and diplomas at the convocation today now the purpose of education is to help an individual to grow in accordance with his abilities and aspiration so that he may be able to render active and useful service to the community and the country i think you will agree with me that education is an asset to develop and equip young men and women to a decent livelihood in the past there was not much scope in the educational system for the development of initiative and creativity after independence necessary attention was given to the educational system so that the young men and women might be encouraged to think on their own at present it seems to me that our educational institutions are factories of learning which turn out a large number of youngsters who find it difficult to fit themselves into life i would like to point out that failure in getting employment in spite of their degrees and diplomas create a feeling of frustration in them in the first place it must be understood that present day education is the product of circumstances not within our control as you are all well aware there has been a great increase in population in our country in order to meet the needs of the student community the government have to set up more and more educational institutions even though education is an important activity the government cannot pay all its attention to it alone it is true that the government have to concentrate on other departments of national life and also see that the resources are reasonably distributed so on this occasion i would like to request the private agencies to play a big role in starting and running educational institutions further common people must realize that education must be in accordance with the abilities of young men and women and that all of them need not go through the same type of education in their own interest and in the interest of national progress these are the state of affairs of our present educational system dear sir i would like to introduce myself that i am one of the residents of parvati nagar 
the set locality has been developed by a private body seeking approval from the different authorities of government this locality consists of hundreds of residents primary and middle schools are also being run by the municipal corporation the municipal corporation authorities have also opened primary health center the dairy development authorities have opened a milk booth and is serving the people it is surprising to note that the electricity department has not taken any part in serving the people of this area there are more than 300 residents without the supply of electricity in this connection i request your good self to arrange to open a counter for the collection of electricity charges at present the residents are paying the electricity charges in the other locality which is too far i therefore request you to open a counter and oblige us faithfully